It is going fantastic. Uh, people have been calling. I've been getting people wanting to come and volunteer. I have gotten donations, uh, food donation, financial donation. People are still in the Thanksgiving spirit. And so many people want to help. And it's really better than I thought it would be. Right. So do you think you'll have enough help and enough food? I think we will. Yes, we will. We will. So because of the COVID, you told us last week that uh, you're not going to be have dining inside this year. So how's it going to work? Well, right now, the ice cream shop has um, offered their building. So what we're going to do, we're going to set up across the street on, at the ice cream shop. Only the volunteers would be allowed inside for making the plates, putting the plates together. And we're going to have it um, a set up over at Arnie's, too. So um, drive buyers can um, pick up a meal or whatever they need from either direction. Um, and then we're going to set up uh, a station outside on the on the uh, sidewalk for people that's walking. And they could just come and get a box and, and just go. You know, we're not going to allow anybody to sit down outside or inside. It's just pretty much a pick up and go. But we're starting to serve at 12. But if people come earlier, they'll be fed as well because a lot of people don't know the change in time. So um, if they come at 11, we'll still be prepared to serve them. But our start time is really 12 to 3. Okay, and you'll have somebody actually handing people in the cars a box? or, or uh, Yes, yes, we'll have somebody, We'll, like I said, we'll have a table set up outside with the dinners on the table, and as they drive by, we just hand it to them in the car. They don't have to get out of their cars at all, and it's going to be um, a station set up where we're going either direction. You know, any people or any groups in particular you want to say thank you to? Yes, I always, so many people, so many people, you know, we always, um, the church changed their name, but it's a church that um, usually help us every year with uh, Pastor Eric Wilder and his congregation. They'll be out with us tomorrow because we, we fry all our turkeys and we do all our hams. And for the last, oh God, maybe 10 years or so, they have been helping us. So they'll, they'll be there tomorrow as well and that's pa pastor eric wilder and his congregation um i had a uh, ship booty i think it's ship's booty they came down and they gave me a generous um check um i have a lot of people that brought food good uh, miss denise chapman and her group optimism they brought, oh my God, they brought so much stuff um, last night and earlier in the week. They brought tons of collard greens. So, you know, I had hats are off to them and everybody else that has helped. So many people have um, came in and bring, brought donations. And the mayor of Georgetown, he, he brought us 20 turkeys yesterday. Um so we have a lot of turkeys, so we, we want to say kudos to him, Mayor Brendan Barber. He said he wanted to make sure that we had enough, and he brought us 20 turkeys. So, I mean, people have really, really, people have really, really um, been generous in their giving. And like I said, because we started so late, I really didn't expect the um, amount of donations that we got that we would have gotten. Uh, a, a man, I didn't get his name, but there was a man yesterday. He brought me nine um, hams, nine hams, and he brought um, two cases of sweet potatoes. So, you know, it's just been a blessing. So I know that this is God's will that we do it.